Morning, everyone. It's uh, early here on, uh, I think, September the 15th, 2022. Coming at you. I wanted to speak today in this video uh, mostly about uh, batteries and where to put them and the effects of uh, performance and handling uh, different uh, topics uh, around that. So uh, here's my three uh, bikes I have. And I uh, these are mainly we're going to talk about trikes, but upright bikes uh, anymore. Most bikes you buy, um, they have it built into the down tube nowadays. And it's in the middle of the bike and it's down low. The down tube's the lowest uh, member on the frame. And even your home built's usually set in that area in the old water bottle mount or, uh, or they're zip tied or something uh, into the frame in the middle of the triangle. So the theme is, uh, you know, getting the bike uh, battery down low and in the center of the uh, bike in regards to whatever bike you uh, ride. And you want that because of the, the, hand, the handling aspect of it, which, uh, you know, handling performance, whatever you want to call it. It's also a safety issue. Recently, uh, we, me and my uh, wife, we went along the ride. This is the bike she rides, this orange one. And I had to strap a uh, extra battery because this is three batteries because we were going out for about a 150, 60 mile ride. And as you can see here, the normal batteries on the inside have one on each side. We'll talk about that. Uh, hopefully I won't forget in a minute or two and address that. But I'd strapped a battery, an additional small battery on the side there. As you can see, it's zip tied on. Uh, and what she noticed and what I noticed, uh, she almost crashed with it one time because having this weight on the outside wants to make the trike tip. So a good, a good thing to do on any bike you're doing, especially like a recumbent trike, um, is to you know lift it up and feel does it feel a little more tippy to one side uh, or the other so and I can tell you when I lift up the uh, right side here it wants to tip a little more to the left than it does to the right because it's out of balance so here again over here's uh, my other setup on the yellow one, I have again two batteries. And while we're talking about that, the, the two batteries, a lot of uh, manufacturers put on one battery and they, a common location be down here on the chain stays and they put one down on this side. Well, that causes uh, somewhat poor handling. It depends on the size of the battery and the weight of it, obviously but I'm a big fan of uh, proportion and weight distribution. So putting a couple, uh, I like to have two batteries. Plus I don't like, uh, I like maximum run time and power and all this and that. So, uh, so, but the ideal place to put it on the trike is here where you see sit in the middle. So somewhere here, right there, but there's limited places to, uh, get it there and track manufacturers recumbents unlike the bike manufacturers aren't building their bikes with electric and system uh electrical system in mind at this time everything's just you know kind of bolt on and kind of do it yourself they may have kits that go in their trike but they're not really that well thought out i mean it's not like the bike is equipped and designed to go around them it's an add-on still so if you're trying to the point of the video is if you're doing this yourself as i have done think about these things the absolute worst place as far as i'm concerned is and again a lot of bike shops will try to do it we'll go over the screen bike and look at it in a minute they're put it like i call it an old newspaper boy uh rack on the back and they put the a bag on it and they either have the battery over the top here in the center which the center is good but having it on the back just causes a, a recumbent trike to want to tip uh, and also all the weights on the back so 
friend of mine uh, put that on his wife's bike, and of course, she crashed on it, and then she, they brought it over, and I showed them, you know, how it was, how much more easily it tipped with the battery up there versus not having the battery up there, so I don't know if they're going to move it, excuse me, um, but there on this uh, green one here is the best I could do on this. This is a Cat Track 700, all three of these. But they have 16 inch wheels on them and a 2406 on the back. So that's, I like them down low. And again, that goes back to the performance and handling aspect. They really corner quite well. And, uh, you know, the, just the handling is much, much better than with the bigger wheel in my opinion. So on this green one, I put the batteries on the 700. There's um, a crossbar here welded onto the frame. That's the way they make the frame. And there's one down here. And I just zip tied this particular battery from Grintech. I think it's like 16 inches by five or six inches wide. I'll try to get down here. So it sets right in that crossbar, and that's the way I got it on three or four zip ties. Of course, as you can see, here's your seat, and the battery just sits really close to being ideal in the middle of the bike. So this one's much, uh, the handling is very good uh, because of the recumbent trike, that's why they put your, where you sit in the middle of the bike. If you look at them back here, you can see, you know, the front wheels and the rear wheels. And you see on the green one that the battery is, uh, in the center and it's down low as you can possibly get it without having the frame custom made for that. And then you can see back here. So on the yellow one, it's within the, uh, you know, two wheels, it's not setting behind the rear, pardon the orange bucket there, but it's not setting behind the, uh, it's not setting behind the rear wheel, um, it's setting ahead of it, and again, it's down low, you can see where your butt sits and your uh, shoulders would set there, um, it's uh, below that, so Again, this would be uh, the better setup here, the green one, to have your batteries there. And the next best would probably be there. And it probably wouldn't be too bad if you had one that went on the bottle uh, cage mounts, uh, which would be somewhere in that location and set up through there. But uh, I'm, like I said, I'm a big fan of uh, two batteries so because it gives you run time and for you know lots of stuff so the worst case scenario is to put them out wide especially on a trike like that so if they're out beyond the seat that's not good and then up high and over the back wheel so if they're if they're uh, up here over the wheel that's not good and if they're on saddlebags and they're hanging back here between this part and the front wheel there, that would not be as good either. So move them forward, keep them low, and that's the ideal, in my opinion, uh, place to put them. So, but I just wanted to share some of my thoughts on that. Because a lot of people just, you know, they, oh, I've got an electric bike and, um, you know, uh, the uh, dealer doesn't really think too much of it. And if it's your first bike and you're new to riding, you don't think of it. You just think, well, I've got a, you know, I've got an electric bike, put the battery on, doesn't much, much matter. And it makes me go, but you'd be surprised how many people I see and pass on the bike trail where, uh, you know, they, uh, they can't go very quick, which I find it kind of odd. You've got an electric bike and you're riding it. Uh, it's one of my little pet peeves or something. You spend uh, double the money and you've got an electric bike. And yet, because of different aspects, uh, you know, the handling or something of it and the uh, range and stuff, you're riding it uh, 10, 15 miles an hour 
because that's all you're able to do because you may run out of battery or it may tip, uh, you know, and maybe a few other, there's other issues as well, but we're just speaking about the battery uh, for the most part here. But, and, you know, I, even when I rode uh, for, I've been riding bikes for about 40 years um, I would pass people on my regular trike, which I started with this orange one here, was my first real kind of race bike. I had a couple expeditions as well, but I prefer the 700. But I tend to always still switch out to the smaller wheels. But I would pass them and they'd say, oh, I've got to pedal uh, and go slow because uh, it may tip or um, I may run out of battery. And I'm like, and I'm, I'm pedaling and I just leave them. I, I was doing more mileage and riding faster on a regular bike. So to me, that kind of defeats the electric bike now. But, you know, in the purpose of having one, if it doesn't make it go, if you can't go further and faster, it definitely, I guess, makes it easier. But again, at the end of the day, uh, there's nothing wrong with, uh, as I always try to say, or at least that's my uh, opinion, if uh, that's what you want to do and you enjoy it personally and it's working for you, then that's great. Um, there's nothing wrong with that if you like to ride at a certain speed and your bike does that. But I'm, I come from the performance background, so I'm speaking more towards that crowd. Um, so that's where the, you know, having two batteries uh, on a, a recumbent trike uh, balance out the weight and increase the handling. And then also you have range uh, to be able to ride where you want with these bikes uh, that I have. Uh, the, the yellow one and the orange one are 3000 watt systems. And they can be tuned to whatever. I just have them dialed in to 3000 watt and controllers and batteries that will produce that. And the green one is a 4,000 watt system. And with the batteries and power of these, um, I can go, the green one will do about a 200 to 300 miles. Uh, two 250 is pretty common. The orange one will go about a 100 uh, to 125 and the yellow one will go around 140 50 miles typically um, so with that kind of range and the handling of them i can go up and down uh, any hill in ohio uh, road gravel or whatever generally uh, not so sure but it's like a gravel fire road that was all rutted out may not be too well because the track's not the ideal uh, bike to have for traction and climbing real steep, loose uh, surfaces. But my point is you're uh, with the handling and setup of these bikes that I got here that I pretty much go anywhere I want to go and uh, any speed, any distance. And uh, so I'm not afraid of running out of battery or tipping the bike. Um, so the whole, every aspect of the bike's been tuned to try to ride as much like a normal bike, uh, and not, uh, limited. Uh, so I like not being limited. So that's where the dual batteries and the placement of the batteries are, uh, this, uh, I wanted to share and talk about that a little bit. So anyhow, we're end up here. Uh, I think that's my time for today on the topic and let me know what you guys think and uh, please uh, like and subscribe to my videos. It helps us out so much. Like I said, we're a, um, a small channel and just have started a couple months ago and uh, trying to get up there. So, uh, and I'm learning the game of the, making the videos and doing different things. So. And I understand uh, if you like and subscribe, it really uh, boosts the channel and promotes us being seen and really helps us out because uh, we're uh, trying to make a go of it here and uh, use YouTube as a platform to uh, help support ourselves a little bit as we uh, 
get on our ways here because we've got both getting older, me and my wife, and I'm having some health issues with Parkinson's. So appreciate your love and support. So have a great day and thank you all for watching. Bye.